good day to everyone and welcome to my Minecraft world. This is Vanilla Minecraft 1.8 and I want to show everyone around. This is my current abode. Um, actually, I don't think I want to start the tour right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we'll start the tour in here. This is my uh, treasure chest room and where I have everything stored in chests and with cool little signs depicting what's in them um, and this this building is actually all above ground we're about maybe like 30 35 blocks above ground I built it up here to be safe from mobs I'll give you a bird's eye view in a minute and now that we're in here I'll show this is my enchantment table with the bookcases around them treasure chest with the lapis to enchant and over here is my little uh, brewing station to make some potions so I've got some empty bottles of water I've got the ingredients to do some brewing I even made myself a little book that has all of the formulas for brewing that back in there. Got myself some fire resistance potions, uh, underwater breathing potions, uh, visibility and night vision, potion of strength, health potions, and some speed potions. You know, I haven't used those yet. Those are pretty sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of those. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we can do a tour in fast action. The sun's going now. We got this beautiful view over the water. Over here is the the bedroom. There's Betsy's bed and all of her. Oh, she doesn't have anything in her chest. Uh, we got some diamond armor. We each have some diamond arm armor, and in my chest, I've got some some nice bows. See that one's a power five. I'm breaking two, and right now I have it on breaking three, power three keep that one on me usually I don't know why I have a bucket of lava in there but I do I've got myself a nice ender chest that's all the stuff I had from mining earlier there's my good pickaxe here we go my fortune 3 pickaxe I'm gonna put that in that chest right there keep that there for safekeeping that is a good pickaxe alright sun's going down so right across the way here is like our kitchen area. Got some, ooh, we just baked some bread. Mm, got some yummy, yummy bread. Put that in this chest here. Got some cooked chicken and my makeshift table. It's not the coolest table. I need to make a better one. All right, we're gonna head over. We're gonna head over here. Where I've got my nether portal, and this is the first time I've set up a nether portal with, like, actual on and off switches to it. A speed potion lasts for a while, that's awesome. Alright, so we're going to click this one, nether portal turns on, and we can teleport to the nether. And click this one, you got to click it again, get rid of the water. But that breaks the nether portal. So it's not on all the time, and so zombie pigmen don't teleport through here and fuck us up. Cause they're strong, they'll fuck your shit up real fast. Alright. Now, that's the main house, and over here is like our farming and barn, and I made it way over here. So you don't hear all the sheep and the cows and the chickens clucking and everything. And ooh, there's my rails, I'll show you that in a minute. Alright. Here is the farm, we've got some pumpkins and melons, I've got my sugar cane. And I don't have any wheat right now. Uh, I got some potatoes growing. Tell you what, we're gonna do here. You can hear the cows already. Annoying little fucks. We're gonna go ahead and use some bone meal on this. And we're gonna fertilize these potatoes. And we'll 
harvest some potatoes here. See, the problem, the reason I'm harvesting potatoes right now is potatoes, to get a potato is kind of a rare drop from a zombie. Unless you find it in villages, which I'm not sure if that's where we originally got our potatoes. But if you find it in a village, that helps. But originally our potatoes, I think, was from a zombie. So you have one potato. And you plant the potato. You have one potato. So if I had one potato. Plant the potato. Then you gotta wait for it to grow. I'll give it bone meal to fertilize it. And then you break it. And then you get three potatoes, and then you take those three potatoes, and you plant them, and so on and so forth. So we had plenty of potatoes, but the problem we ran into is we cooked all the potatoes into baked potatoes. And I didn't have any more to plant. And then I got another one from a zombie drop. I got lucky. And I feel like in the past few minutes I've said potato way too many times. I'm gonna hang on to these potatoes. Anyway, I got some nether wart growing over here. I got plenty of it right now for brewing, so I'm not going to do anything with those. But I just want to show how you do farming. Um, so, once you have dirt, you take a hoe, and you have to uh, do that with the ground to make it plantable. And then you got to have a water block to... Uh, make it fertilized ground and then you take seeds seeds are dropped from uh, grass and once you have seeds planted you just let them grow plant 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 I'm not gonna plant all these it gets boring then you let them grow or you can fertilize them with bone meal and then that you get wheat from that once it's fully grown and you get more seeds. So I'm gonna go grab some wheat here. And we're gonna move on over here. So you can use wheat to make uh, bread and you can also use wheat. There's a lot of cows in there. You can also use wheat to, uh, to breed cows. And, oh uh, shit. Get out, of the, get out of the way, there we go, shut the door. And once you have the wheat in your hand, all the cows go towards you. They're like, oh, food. And then you can click the little hearts, and they breed. And it's probably difficult to see what I'm doing right now, because there's so many cows in here. I am breeding the cows. I'm going to have little babby cows. Little babies. Let's see if I can get out of here without letting more cows out. Get out of my way, you stupid cow. And the penalty for getting out of the barn is death. So that's that's the rules around here that I have enforced. So there are baby cows in there. I don't know if we can see them right now. But once you kill cows, you get leather. Leather is useful. You get beef. You can eat. It's all very useful. I need to put my armor back on. I got some sheep over here, and with sheep, we can shear them with the shears to get wool. And you can breed them with wheat also. Uh, pigs, you use carrots to breed them. And chickens, oh, chicken got out. Death upon thee. Chickens, you use seeds to breed chickens. And you can also hatch them from eggs. This is kind of just a quick look at death. I try not to let things out, but it happens. I got a lot of everything right now. So this is a quick overview of all the animals I have. Now in 1.8, there is a new animal you can, you can breed. And that is rabbits, which I don't have any of. I'll tell you what, it was a real big pain in the ass to get all of these animals up here. And that's a story for another time. We were pretty far above the ground. And this section over here I recently built, and that is, it's trying to get more apples to make golden apples. So I have saplings and bone meal here that I was growing trees and trying to get them to drop apples. I haven't done much with it. There we go. You can grow trees, get the axe. Whoops, 
chop down the trees. And then, once you have the trees chopped down, the leaves will decompose and drop stuff. Now I was thinking about setting up hoppers underneath this to catch everything, but it's kind of annoying because then you gotta sit here and wait for... We can probably come back. Wait to see if apples drop. We can come back. And... I take all of this back with us. And you can see I have a little hunger meter and my hunger is low so I can eat some steak and get that nice and full. Oh, and over here I have my signs. This is my current project, so what I want to do, the direction I want to head here. We're kind of pretty far in the game already. I've made a large mine and I can show you that here once the sun comes up. Um, but new to 1.8 is Ocean Temples, and I want to check those out. So um, I need Depth Strider on my boots, which I have on this one. We have a Depth Strider 3, which is really nice, which means I can walk underwater as fast as I can walk above water. Um, I have my underwater breathing potion, so we have that. I just need to get Depth Strider for Betsy, so we can both go check out the Ocean Temple. Um, and I kind of want to map things out get some maps, check out the area, explore a little bit. I haven't totally explored the area we're in right now. Now this isn't the original area we spawned. Uh, the area we spawned is probably like a two days walk towards the direction the sun's rising right now. Where we spawned, we kind of collected some resources and then decided to go explore. And this is what we decided, where we decided to uh, end up. We have a nice ocean here. We have an extreme hills biome over there. We've got some, uh, a flower biome, some plains here, there was plenty of animals, it was a good place to start. And that was our first platform we made when we came here to keep us safe at night. Uh, anyway, on to what we want to do, map our area. Um, <clears throat> get some swords that have looting, kill some endermen, get some ender pearls so we can find strongholds. And then in turn, go into the end and defeat the Ender Dragon, which honestly I've never done in Minecraft. I've done everything up to that. And the reason I haven't really fought the Ender Dragon is the last world I made, I found two strongholds, but none of them had end portals. They just, they weren't there. There was too many ravines and caves cutting through the stronghold. Uh, so hopefully, in my 1.8, I think I read that strongholds are supposed to be better less caves and ravines cutting through them. So hopefully we'll find a good stronghold with an end portal in them. And I, w I do want to mention, I don't think I'd mention this, I do play this by myself and I do play this with my girlfriend Betsy. She she joins me on another computer. And it's, tell you what, this game's much better with two people. I have some very, f very fond memories of us us playing together and it's, it's good times. I do, I do get frustrated with her sometimes and I yell at her and then she's like, screw you, I'm not playing with you anymore. And then I have to convince her to play again. <laughs> I tell you, I take I probably take this game too seriously. I'm just dropping all this in here. I don't feel like sorting it out right now. Probably take this game too seriously. Some people I watch on YouTube that play Minecraft are very happy-go-lucky. And I'm not. I probably should be just a little more chill. I hate dying. If I die or do something wrong, it pisses me off. That section I just built, and I had to put some sand down to build it. Now, here's a good view from below of what we've built, how we built everything above ground. That way mobs don't spawn, creepers can't blow my shit up, so it's pretty nice. Now, I did build this rail system, and we're gonna head to the mine. These tracks can be a little loud, but what we're going to do is head over here. I'm going to look this way so we can get a view of where we were just at. I have a uh, ladder there and a ladder over here for us to climb up in there. Ooh, some squids. the end of the line here. 
We're going to hang on to that, and we're going to head into the mine. So I made this in Extreme Hills Biome, which is a good and a bad thing. So the bad thing is that, uh, oh, what are they called? The silverfish spawn in Extreme Hills. I was going to call them Jeffs, <laughs> and that is from, from Hat Films. The silverfish named Jeff. Um, but silverfish spawn, but you also get emeralds. And emeralds are very rare. They're one of the rarest gems in the game. So it's good to find them. So I made this so we can come down here easily. And this is our mine shaft. So we're all the way down here at the bottom, like to bedrock. You can see we got bedrock down here as ominous music plays. We are deep underground. I have my ender chest here that links back up to my room. And these are all of the shafts we've created. Whoop, and I fell. We're not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. I marked them so we remember which shaft, mine shaft we're in. <laughs> now I feel like I'm saying shaft way too many times. All right, I'm gonna head down this way. And you see, I make it three. I make it three by three, the main shaft. And then uh, every two, I make it one by three. And we dig through here to find. Ooh, look at that. We found some, some, some redstone that we didn't collect. Awesome. Got some redstone. Oh, and there's some iron. So you can see. How we collect blocks underground. All right. So this goes back here a ways. And when I was coming back here, digging away, finding myself a lot of diamonds and emeralds and what, whatnot. You see, there was some lava here. This was lava. Now it is um, bed or bedrock. What the hell is this? Obsidian. Gee, my mind doesn't work this morning. All right, so we got some obsidian over there. I dumped water on there to get rid of the lava. Then what we have up here is I found a skeleton spawner in a dungeon. So danger, monster, sp monster spawner zone. So there is a, a nine by nine room over here and you can hear the skeletons in the water. They spawn in the water and they go on this little trip they go way up there about 23 blocks high and then they come over and then they fall down here and I got this off the internet this was not my creation but they fall 22 blocks so they're low on health and what this is is an XP farm I'm just gonna wait here a minute and wait for them to fall All right, and one fell, two fell, so they're low on health, and all I have to do in here is come in here with an empty hand and hit them. He's armored, so he took more than one hit. Should just be one hit, and they die. So I collect here, I collect XP from them. I collect bone meal, bones, and I can get uh, skeletons and arrows from them also, or skeletons, bows and arrows from them also, from the skeletons. So, this is the XP farm, my way of grinding, gaining XP, it's pretty easy. And you can actually just go away from the keyboard and stand here, it's a safe spot, no one's gonna hurt me. I can come back in 15 minutes and there can be 50, 50 skeletons sitting here, I can kill them all. And usually I go up to level 39 for enchantment, uh, to do the good enchantments you need a minimum of level 30 and it takes three levels per level 30 enchantment that's the new the way enchantment is in 1.8 and I like it a lot better uh, than the way it used to be so the newer version uses lapis it used to take all 30 levels to do in a level 30 enchantment and that was a pain now it just takes three levels so I'll, I do level 39 and I can get four enchantments at level 39 at le level 30 enchantments and get four of them so um, I'm actually just gonna sit here a little bit let these skeletons fall we'll do a little fast-forward 
montage, and I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs>